Okay, so the next topic is oxidation and reduction. You know, the process of addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen is called oxidation. When oxygen is added, okay, or when hydrogen is removed, we call it as oxidation. And the process of addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen is called reduction. Now, let us see this example. Zinc oxide plus carbon gives zinc plus carbon monoxide. Here you can see zinc oxide changing to zinc. Okay. So here oxygen is being removed. So removal of oxygen is called reduction. So zinc oxide is undergoing reduction. So the substance reduced will be zinc oxide. Now see the carbon is changing to carbon monoxide. You have learned addition of oxygen is called oxidation. So carbon is oxidizing to CO. So the substance oxidized will be C. Now please don't write. I have several times seen students writing CO here. No. Substance oxidized when you get a question you have to write only from the reactant side. So substance oxidized C. Substance reduced ZNO. Here two more terms I am going to teach you. Oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Okay. When you call a book agent or newspaper agent, they distribute books or newspaper respectively. So an oxidizing agent is the agent that supplies oxygen or that removes hydrogen. In, simply, uh, simply you can say that. So here plus uh, ZNO. Please check ZNO. ZNO is the one who is contributing oxygen to carbon. Right. So ZNO is the oxidizing agent. Zinc oxide is undergoing reduction. Who is responsible for that? Carbon is taking oxygen from zinc oxide. That's why zinc oxide is changing to zinc. So the reduction of zinc oxide is because of carbon. So carbon is the reducing agent here. So usually it comes like this. The substance oxidized will be this carbon and that will be the reducing agent. And substance reduced Zinc oxide usually will be the oxidizing agent in simple equations.